In the next example, we have the sum from 1 to infinity of n to 4 to the power of n, all divided by n plus 1 factorial. So the first thing you will notice is that this sum contains both an exponential, so 4 to the power of n, plus a factorial, n plus 1 factorial. So in this case, we cannot reduce the series to only contain powers of n. And hence, one other approach we can use is the ratio test. So the ratio test states that we take the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of a n plus 1 divided by a n and if this is greater than 1 it diverges and if it's less than 1 it converges while if it equals 1 the test is inconclusive and we must use another method so here a n the general term is n multiplied by 4 to the n all divided by n plus 1 factorial. a n plus 1 is obtained by replacing n with n plus 1 in the term a n. So we have n plus 1 multiplied by 4 to the power of n plus 1 all divided by n plus 1 plus 1 so n plus 1 plus 1 factorial or simply n plus 1 by 4 to the n plus 1, all divided by n plus 2 factorial. So now, a n plus 1 divided by a n equals n plus 1 multiplied by 4 to the n plus 1, all divided by n plus 2 factorial, all divided by a n, which is n, 4 to the n, divided by n plus 1 factorial. And again, as division is the opposite of multiplication, this can be written more tidily as n plus 1 by 4 to the n plus 1 all over n plus 2 factorial multiplied by n plus 1 factorial all divided by n 4 to the n. Now 4 to the n plus 1 is simply 4 to the n multiplied by 4 to the 1. And n plus 2 factorial is simply n plus 2 multiplied by n plus 1 factorial. And this is all still multiplied by n plus 1 factorial over n 4 to the n. Now here we can cancel 4 to the n, the exponentials, and we can cancel the factorial n plus 1s. So we have 4 to the n plus 1 all divided by n to n plus 2. Simply 4 to the n plus 4 all over n squared plus 2n. So now the limit as n goes to infinity, the absolute value of a n plus 1 divided by a n equals the limit as n goes to infinity, the absolute value of 4n plus 4 all divided by n squared plus 2n. And now if we calculate the limit, by either dividing by the highest power of n or using the leading terms, we will get an answer of 0 all over 1, or simply 0. And as 0 is less than 1, we can say that the series converges.